Want to find out how to upgrade your weapons and your gear in Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Well, today I'm going to tell you guys how to do it and what you need to actually get it done. SFA, uh, this is Lazybolt, and welcome to today's video, guys. One of the most important things in Assassin's Creed Valhalla is being able to upgrade your gear and knowing what you need to do or what you need to have in order to upgrade your gear. So we're going to be talking about that right now in today's video. If you find this video helpful and informative, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like and a comment. It does help me a lot. So make sure if you guys want to see more Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos, man, show me some love and support. So let's go ahead and talk about how you're going to be able to upgrade your weapons and your, you know, your gear in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So let's take a look at what we have in our inventory. I'm going to explain the three different ways you're actually going to be able to upgrade in this game because... Like unlike any other game, this game allows you to have a wide variety of options when it comes to upgrading. And there are three different ways that you're actually able to upgrade in this game. So let's go ahead and start off with the first part, which is upgrading your, you know, your, your gear stats, right? Or your weapon stats. So let's take a look at this piece of gear that I have right here on the screen. This is the Raven Clan. There are three different types of armor sets in the game. There is Raven. There is Bear. And then there is Wolf. Now, these are going to be noticeable by the icon on the top of the screen. So if you see this one on the top, it has a little bear in the triangle. And this one right here has a little raven in the triangle. So those are the different types of gears. Now, these particular gears, if you collect all five sets of the actual set itself, like, for example, this one right here that I have four out of five. So if I were to put uh, the whole bear outfit, right, which would be equip that one, as you guys see, it allows me to use the uh, kind of like intricate perks of the of this particular item. So this one says Berserker set. It's completed. I have five out of five. Increase speed when taking damage until you heal yourself up to five times. Additionally, increased attack and armor. Now these are only able to be equipped if you have the complete set. So that's one thing you want to know. Okay, so now let's talk about how you're able to upgrade the actual stats of this gear. As you guys notice on the gear, we have a stat that says armor evasion we have uh l which is low res and h high res and then we have weight that's just how much weight you're gonna have so it's gonna make it tougher for you to run tougher for you to evade now you're able to upgrade the stats on these very easily you're gonna need to have the certain amount of uh pretty much of consumables or materials in order to upgrade as you guys know right here it's telling me i need five ironclad and i need uh, 25 of leather right so 25 leather so of course you're gonna you, um, you guys are pretty much aware knowing uh, I, uh, exactly where to actually get these i'll have videos on where to farm them but basically just collect enough material to have to be able to upgrade now you're able to upgrade this up to four different stats so for example right now we have this one which i call the gray one the gray one in particular is the lowest tier of the gears now, the good thing about this game that's very different from any other game that we played is the fact that this particular game allows you to upgrade up to four times regardless of the gear that you have. So let's say you have a gray gear like I'm this Raven Claw, uh, Clan Cloak that I have here, but I want to use it in endgame. I'm going to be allowed to do that if I keep upgrading it over and over, which is actually pretty dope and something I enjoy and love about this game is the fact that it gives me that option that it doesn't tie me down to say you got a gray it might look cool but you're not going to be able to use it in end game this one in particular you will be so if i wanted to take the raven cloak all the way up to the highest level which i'm going to go by color variants because we have gray we have bronze we have teal and then we have mythic now mythic is pretty much gold and that in particular is the highest tier you will have. So if you want to upgrade this all the way across, you're going to be able to do that just by hitting the X and having the right materials. And every time you upgrade, it's going to upgrade your, you know, depending on what you're going to be upgrading, it's going to upgrade your armor, your evasive, your uh, low res, and your high res, right? So your resistance, low resistance, high resistance. So that is what's pretty dope about the game. And overall, in general, that is the base stat of the game. Now, that's part one of how you're able to upgrade. Part two, of course, is by rarities, which I explained already, which is going to allow you to go from gray all the way to mythic, and you have, have up to four different levels that you're able to upgrade. Now, every time you upgrade, if you notice right here, there is a bar that's displayed underneath the gear. 
if you know up the ne underneath the stars. So this one in particular, if it's gray, I'm only able to go up twice. So I'm only able to go twice. Now, if I already upgraded to bronze, if you upgrade to bronze, you're able to upgrade this level. I mean, this gear in particular up to four times. So that means that if I wanted to upgrade this, it's going to allow me to upgrade it one time. And then I could grade it another time. Of course, it's going to ask for materials every single time. And then it's going to allow me to upgrade it every single time. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's uh, let's go upgrade that. As you guys see right there, it's upgraded. I could definitely upgrade it again. It's just to show you guys exactly what happens. And every time it's going up, it's asking me for more materials and more, you know, more, more materials. So that's going to be making sure that you guys farm over and over. But the thing is, once you get to that fourth one, you're not, you're not going to be able to upgrade anymore. That's the highest, uh, you know, highest level you get that gear to, right? It just goes to 32 and 30. Now, if you want to go beyond this, you're going to have to upgrade its rarity. Now, in order for you guys to upgrade its rarity, you're going to have to visit the blacksmith. The blacksmith is the only way you're going to be able to upgrade your rarities. Now, you're going to be able to find the blacksmith in any campment or any settlement. And basically, all you got to do is go to, say, visit the shop. And once you're in the shop, you're going to go to find the item that you want to upgrade to. Now, in order for you guys to upgrade this item, as you guys see right here, this is going from bronze to teal. If I want to make sure I upgrade this item, where's the, where's the one with the fort? If I want to make sure I upgrade this item all the way up to teal, that's going to give me a couple of variants. Not only is it going to give me the chance to upgrade the armor from a different rarity, but it's also going to give me the option to get three additional slots to upgrade the gear. So. I'll go, I go into teal and from teal, it's going to give me that option to upgrade it even further. Now, once I go from teal to mythic, once again, it's going to give me three more slots, letting me upgrade it all the way to 10%. Plus it's going to give me that mythic perk. Now that is the second way. Now the third way you're able to upgrade gear is by ruins. Now ruins is something really cool about the, that they introduced to the game because to be able to upgrade your gear even further and enhance your playstyle. If you like playing stealthy, you're going to be able to do that. But in order for you guys to be able to do that, you're going to need to have ruins. Now, ruins are found in your inventory. And every time you go to a gear, one thing I love about this game, if I want to put a ruin to this one right here, hold on, this is not giving me the option. So let's go to here. If I go to this gear right here and I go to empty ruin, right, and I want to put a ruin in there, you go to ruins, it tells me what ruins I have, right? So right now I have three ruins now these particular ruins once give me stealth damage once give me range resistance and one gives me health so if i feel like i'm, I'm i want to play a little bit more aggressive i want to make sure i keep my health i can just pop in a health ruin on this one what makes it cool though is that once you put it in your gear you do not lose that ruin that ruin stays with you regardless of you uh you know you know equipping it you don't lose it it's just anytime you want to try to sense your gear and you want to use that ruin again you're able to apply that ruin to whatever gear you want, which is something I love. I like the fact that it gives you that fle you know, flexibility. And a cool thing about this is the fact that it gives you different ways of actually playing. So if you want to run double shields as wielding weapons, double axes, and you want to make sure you're getting a lot of stealth kills and racking up that stealth, you can put a bunch of stealth ruins into your gear, giving you a different play style. If you want to go ahead and get, you know, use a bow more, you can use more sort of ruins that enhance that playstyle. So that's the other way you're able to level up the gear. Now, where do you find the stuff to level up? Well, of course, in order for you guys to find the first thing, which is leveling up your stats, it's just pretty much found in the world. I'll have a farming video of actually how to farm one of the things that are really important. Let's go here onto my bag here. That I already found a way to actually farm this, which is called iron, iron ore. Iron ore is actually one of the things that gets used a lot because every time you upgrade, it's going to be incrementing. First, it asks you for 10, then it asks you for 25, then just keep going up and up and up. Another thing that's really important is leather. Now, I've been able to find exactly where to farm this, which is really, really cool. And I'll be showing you guys where you could constantly get a lot of this to actually upgrade really fast. So pretty much to level up your gear, you're just going to need iron ore and leather. That's pretty much going to be your main objective when it comes at early stages of the game. Once you get a little bit further in the game, you're going to need to be able to farm carbon ignot. Now, carbon ignot is usually found within chests. Anytime you look in your map and you see a chest or, you know, something blinking that's uh, yellow, you're going to be finding carbon ignot. Now, carbon ignot is going to allow you to go from fine to superior. Fine is called uh, gray or white. It's called fine. Superior, which is what I call bronze, 
uh, it's basically the next year you're moving up to. Now, you're going to need to have this in order to upgrade everything to superior, which moving everything to bronze. So if you want to go from gray to bronze, you're able to go from, you know, from fine to superior. Now, the next one is nickel ingot. Now, this one in particular, guys, this is going to allow you to go from teal, which is superior, to flawless, which is pretty much uh, teal, right? So it's going to let you go from bronze, which is superior, to flawless, which is teal. Now, what you guys are want to do here, you're going to need to know exactly where to get this nickel income. I'll have videos on where each location is and how you get them. So make sure you guys keep it locked in the channel so you guys know won't miss out on that. The last thing you're going to need is a tungsten ingot. And this one is to go from flawless to mythical. So pretty much from teal to gold, which is what I call. This one in particular is going to be very hard to find. And I'm going to have a guide telling you where you're able to obtain these. But these are the two sets of materials that you're going to need to go to not only level up your stats, but also level up your rarity. Now, the last thing you're going to need to know, of course, is ruins. Now, ruins in particular, these are pretty much found in different sets of areas, and you're going to be able to either find these on chests. There's also going to be certain bosses or certain enemies you can kill that are going to give you a certain amount of ruins, which I'll have a video going over that. But overall, in general, guys, that is how you level up your armor. That is how you level up your gear, and that is how you level up your inventory. One tip I want to give you guys, there is a person within the settlement uh, the crypto, not, crypto, crypto gen, I think it's called or crypto fiber. I forgot the name of it, but uh, she's going to allow you to find maps and you're going to be able to get these maps and they're going to tell you where to find the gear, which I'll talk a little bit more about her in the video. So if you want to make sure you know exactly how to do it, make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel. Now, if you did enjoy this video, I also have a video on how to level up fast so you can get to level up super duper quick. Make sure you guys check out that video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.